Okay, uh, good morning, welcome to. Math number 455A. Math 455A. So, you, uh, so today we're going to talk about some strange infinite series. Um, you had asked me, or when we did our math biographies, I asked you what's something that's strange and um, that you've seen as being presented as being true but you don't believe. And what did you say? The 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is minus 112 series. Right, so you add up all of the integers, and all the positive integers, I mean, and somehow or other this adds up to minus 1 12th. And give me, like, you know, you give me one reason why this is a strange result. Well, because this is a fraction and you're adding integers. Okay, and what's another reason why you give me a reason why These this is a strange result? These are all positive and you're getting a negative number. Yeah, so this is a very strange thing. So, <clears throat> I'm kind of doing this all off the top of my head today. Um, we're not going to make it all the way to understanding this series uh, today, but we are going to understand by the end of this talk that strange things can happen with infinite series. And things that seem very strange actually can have explanations that are sort of equally strange. So let's see a few examples. What's an infinite series that you know about that makes sense to you? Um, one plus a half plus a fourth mm -hmm. plus a half. That makes sense. It's two. All the way up. The denominator is one over two to the n. Yeah. So if we add up the inverse powers of two, that adds up to two. That you know, makes sounds sense. like we're about to get a dog barking. Uh, but why? Why does this make sense to you? Well, because you're you. It seems like you're getting closer and closer to two with every number you add on. So you have one, and then you have a, a half. And you have a fourth, and you're at three fourths, one and three fourths, and you're at one and seven eighths, and then you're at one and fifteen sixteenths. You're always a little bit away. But I mean, for any finite number, you're not going to get there. these. You're never going to get to two. You never get to two. But what happens each step? You're getting you're closer and closer, close. and you're okay. going. You're doing that forever. Can we can we even be more precise than just getting closer? You're getting and closer. half as close. Yeah. So at at the beginning. You're at one, which means you're one away from two, mm -hmm. and then, then you add half a away. half away, fourth away, eighth away, yeah, away. and that's actually a good way of thinking about it. Um, a very, very common way of thinking about infinite series is looking at what are called the partial sums. So basically, stopping somewhere and seeing, seeing what's happening, and then stopping a little while further out, further out, further out. Mm -hmm. I, actually, I guess I should say stop there, stop there, stop there, see what's happening. Okay. There's actually an, another um, series that you know a little bit about, um, another infinite series that you know something um, about. The one, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1? Um, 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. No, we'll get to that in a minute, but how about, how about this? 0 0.9999... That's an infinite series. 1 equals 1. Okay, so we, we... That's pretty easy to prove. Okay, how? How do you prove that? So you, s you can say this equals x. Okay. Wait, let me give myself a little bit more room. Okay, if x equals 0 0.9999, okay. Then you multiply by 10, so mm -hmm. 10x is mm -hmm. 9.999999. Then you subtract 9x equals 9. 9x equals 9. And x equals 1. So x has to equal 1. All right, what do you think about that? So, yeah. That will make sense. That, that that will equal one. That makes sense. That equals one. Okay. Um, uh, in fact, we could have used the same strategy with the series before this. If I said x equals one plus a half yeah. plus a fourth plus an eighth plus, and I multiply by two, two x is two, two plus, plus one, one plus everything you had before. Yeah, so okay. two times a half is one, two times mm -hmm. a fourth is a half. So how, what is what so, do I do now? Well you subtract two you subtract x from two x. So you, which get, x you get is two. Two x is two. Or oh, uh, x is two. X is two. X is two, so I just subtract these and I get x is two. Okay? Alright, cool. Alright, let's go to the next part. 